Um, uh, uh, well, Passover. <laughs> Michael, are you are you the head Jew? No. I forget how Judaism works. What does this work? Uh, Do it, it's Diana. It's kind of decentralized, but I mean, I'm, I'm here as the, the token Jew because, yeah. uh, you know, I saw the, the Toxator fan art what months ago and mm-hmm. i was like oh michael you know you know who, who do you have in your office that's jewish you could totally do that and uh either he didn't look hard or there are no jews Nobody. around here gary so. steinem who had to go home i think that's about all we have and he's probably not upset that i outed him i know yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i'm i'm pinch hitting i'm pinch hitting for the jews this week here i am <laughs> Fair enough. now i'm going to subject you to satyrs satyrs oh. so right. the satyr is what okay uh, I'm really this ignorant? I don't know if I'm just like... Yeah, I, I'm <laughs> right no, 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 this you. is good. This is good. You're, you're, the, you're the audience. I am for myself. Yeah. All right, so education time. Um, the Seder is a traditional dinner to mark the beginning of Passover. Mm-hmm. Um, Passover always comes in the spring, and it commemorates the exodus of the Jews out of slavery in Egypt. Egypt. That's pretty much it. You know, it's uh, not, not to celebrate the, the death of Jesus or no. anything like that. Was Aladdin a Jew? Can he? Can we just pretend that he was? Sure. So we can play a whole new world over this? Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Mm. Thank you. (laughs) Thank you. And now we're editorializing. (laughs) Yes. Best part, never seen the movie. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I have seen Return of Jesus. So what happens on the Saturday? We're sitting here with all this crazy food. Okay. So, so, um, well, the the centerpiece of of the dinner is a Seder plate, which I have right here. And it's got uh, an egg and a bone and greens and horseradish and sweet stuff on it. Did we get a picture of that? It looks like it looks like Hebrew eat. voodoo. You don't actually eat off the Seder. <laughs> no. I, oh, I, it's, this, it's a symbol. There's a lot of symbolism. I'm going to mm-hmm. hit you guys with a lot of symbolism. All right. What do we have here? Um, you can so, see all these pictures on the Talk Radar page, by the way. Yes. Talk Radar 95. Okay. So we've got greens to represent spring and horseradish is bitter and represents the Suffer. bitterness of oppression, right? Mm-hmm. Um, the brown mushy stuff is... Uh, it's supposed to look kind of like mortar, but it's also sweet, like freedom. <laughs> but you don't eat it. Well, I gave you guys something to eat. Oh, yeah. This is the symbol because plate. This really is the eating plate. Oh, I see what you're saying. This are, is the display model. Are our green spinach? Um, our greens are some random salad greens that I pulled out of our big bag <laughs> oh, okay. of salad we got at the, Costco. Uh, yeah, first, first Seder I ever went to, it was like parsley dipped in salt water. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we, you're supposed to do that. We're skipping that. <laughs> a lot God. of salt water in the desert. Because, yeah, you guys, it's you're supposed to do that, and the salt water reminds you of the tears of suffering. Our but, Passover greens are a uh, Costco spring mix. <laughs> yes, they are. Yeah. But, you know, since you guys all know what salt water tastes like, we're going to skip that part and make it go faster. And uh, the egg also represents spring, and also I think the sacrifice in the temple. And Jesus the resurrecting. East, and it I'm can't be the Easter bunny <laughs> no, laying eggs. The Easter yeah. bunny did not leave that, but that you know that could be where that comes from. For all it I was know. where Jesus told his followers to hide like, in an egg. egg. Yeah. <laughs> so now you know which came first, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus As laid Jesus. all the eggs, <laughs> and, and from those eggs came the chickens and, that we know and love. <laughs> and that's why we have Seder. Yep. <laughs> and I think I have the chronology correct. Okay. Oh, and, and last is the bone that represents the slaughtered lambs where they paste, put the blood on their doorposts. We'll get to that because oh, I can yeah. tell the story. Right. Um, although I didn't have a lamb bone, so this represents the buffalo chickens that we slaughtered. <laughs> the, all the awful buffalo chickens. The animal 54 from KFC. No, the Indians use every part of the buffalo chicken. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm, 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 I'm really trying to keep this as, as basic and, and lo- loose as possible, so if there are any you know, much more orthodox Jews than me, which is like every Jew ever, um, <laughs> that, that complain about this, you know, go crazy in the comments or, mm-hmm. or whatever. But uh, I'm just trying to keep it fast. I'm in a room full of goys. What am I going to do? Okay. So um, we are drinking goys. is a big part of oh. Passover. Mm. Because oh, we finally get to get into this shit, huh? Yeah. So is this it's, the Chev? This is the Chev. We are, we're going the traditional route, the Manischewitz Concord Grape. Concord um, Grape? Yeah. Uh-huh. For some reason, they like sweet wines and kosher wines. Right. So wow. let's, let's we have done a taste go, test go in for wine. it and let's, let's so see what you think. A madam's up. It smells like Easter egg dye. Hmm. <laughs> what is that, that thing about mummies and grapes? A uh, mummy vomiting grapes. Mummy in your mouth. vomiting <laughs> grapes in your mouth. <laughs> this time the mummies. Just just imagine that the mummy is drier. No, at this point, <laughs> <laughs> I I am against mummies because that would have been an Egyptian. Yeah, before oh. it was it was an underage mummy because it was Mountain Dew, <laughs> and only children and Brett Elston drink Mountain Dew. 
Uh, <laughs> whereas this is wine, so the mummy's more desiccated. Hmm. This is extremely sweet. Is this alcohol? How, what's the percentage of alcohol in this? It's not. It oh, is wait. super sweet. And is Manischew it's a no, brand or yeah. a... No, it's a, it's a it is brand. a brand. It's mm-hmm. bottled by Manischew. And how long have they company? existed? Pretty long time. I would imagine a long time. What else did they make that you were telling me about? Mad Dog 2020? <laughs> no, that's Mug and David. We're going to get to that. Oh, that's okay, the, okay. We'll, uh, 11% Perfect. alcohol by volume. All right, Tyler's, Tyler's going to hit the soundboard. It's all right. Oh. You need an outlet. You don't have an extra <laughs> mic. Tyler's rendered effectively mute <laughs> just yell by the amount of yell Jewishness some- in this room. <laughs> <laughs> just yell something really loud so we know you're there. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Let me hear it, Mr. Scream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get it? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so the chef. Yep. Oh, I totally forgot. Wait, I have uh, I have yarmulkes for everybody. Oh, oh let me wow. do that. Yes. Leftover from the wedding. These are we- leftover oh. wedding yarmulkes. Is this the one I wore? It, it's How do you from fasten the these batch? on? I feel like out of you know, from I still, Oz. I still, I, still really use, I still use my Michael and Diana pen every day. Oh, yay. Oh, this is that's a perfect good. fit. Yeah. So is this supposed good. to not let your ever-dying soul escape from your brain? No. No. It's, it's a sign of respect for God. Wait, are you? That you're not supposed to keep your head uncovered. Ever. Is why? Why? Because they said so. You're supposed to. Are, wait, in religion, are you supposed to question God or not question God? <laughs> in what Judaism, you, you kind of do. You do? Yeah. There's. I mean, there's the old saying: two Jews, three opinions. Mm-hmm. You know, you're encouraged to argue about why did God do that and what did He think about that and why could this be? And the lesson is always at the bottom that God is really great. The lesson is that Krusty's father was a Jew. <laughs> Herschel <laughs> and that's All I know about this. <laughs> <laughs> You look really. Fu- you look like if you had a Fu Manchu right now. <laughs> it doesn't it's wearing it wrong. It looks, I know I'm wearing it. Looks it looks like wrong. you have a brain protruding from your head. <laughs> uh, I can see my reflection now. It was on the wrong way. Oh yeah, like you're definitely... a bad special effect in a shitty zombie movie. Wear it sideways like a true thug. <laughs> Wait, let me get it over here. <laughs> yeah, my tits are the biggest and the juiciest. <laughs> That's an Oz reference. Nobody gets those. Mm. Ah. Um, All right. Okay. So uh, moving on. All right. So I have I have the lordly protective headgear. Right. Now <laughs> get your headgear on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Now now comes part this uh, this next part. I've got three matzos here, and mm-hmm. I'm going to explain the matzos why we have them. But this is the point where I've got three that are out on the table. I'm going to break it in half. Take the third. Oh, or what are you doing? The, the biggest part. Oh we're going to wrap up is called the afikomen, which we have to hide. Oh dear! Why do we have to hide it? Because it's fun. Okay. <sighs> and then the youngest, who's Tyler? Tyler is gonna have to go oh, find no. it. Well, we'll put this aside. We can hide it later. We will so. hide it later. And Tyler has to find it, and if he loses and can find it, is he banned from heaven? <laughs> 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 this is then generally he, how these things work. No Hebrew <laughs> school for him. Oh no! <laughs> no Wolfenstein Hitlers. No, we're doing right. this. That's so mean. <laughs> No. Yeah, but the, this whole image of like, hey, I've got bread and I'm going to pass it around. This might look a little familiar to the Christians. <laughs> All of you. Is um, it the, the Last Supper? The Last is Supper is a Seder. About? And it's not like I'm pulling that oh. out of my butt or something. Jesus actually says like, hey, go find me somewhere so we can have the Seder. So this is where all the conspiracy started. Sure. The first Seder. Yeah. That's why Dan Brown has a job. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's the job, Jesus. I, I My job is to write two books in a decade. <laughs> <laughs> so One of them millions of dollars. Millions of dollars. Yeah, so now there's where we got the bread, we got the wine. Mm-hmm. You know, he was kind of just cribbing from what was already there for the symbolism. But I like to imagine like him hiding the offy comb and him making all the apostles go find it. Mm-hmm. I think that'd be funny. And if they find it, they get a silver dollar. I like the wine. <laughs> Wait, do I get a silver dollar? No. Why not? You get a, you I get, didn't have any. I'll give you, my, I'll give you my aluminum <laughs> bottle cap. <laughs> That's almost as good. The wine tastes like uh, like blow pop ejaculate. <laughs> God damn it. It, it, it! It's really warm you know, and that, smooth. That actually is not a bad description. <laughs> it coats your tongue. I it's, swallowed it the second you said ejaculate. Mm. It's, just, it's too much. I always thought it tasted like blow, cough syrup. It does taste a little like cough syrup, but so yeah. do blow pops. And blow jobs. Um, we we are still passing. Uh, we are still uh, passing over. Yes. Same, okay. Yeah. Oh, so all right. More symbolism time. We're supposed to. Mm-hmm. This is supposed to be a very communal meal, you know, because we're celebrating freedoms. So we're not supposed to leave anyone out. Mm-hmm. So we're supposed to go open the door and see if anyone wants to come in. Oh, Tyler, you want to get? I'll do it. Yeah. yeah so like, go get the door. <laughs> yeah. Just go. Quick, you know, have the coffee coming. Oh yeah, go for it. I want to have some Passover. Over here. <laughs> 
<laughs> in the door. <laughs> nobody, nobody wants no. to hope it's picking no, up. The cleaning ladies aren't going. We should have done this in the middle of the day. Mm. Uh, yes, yeah. Diana. What's next? Okay. Um, now we're supposed to kind of go over the story of, of Passover. Please, Just, I only know, saw exodus. this on Rugrats, so I have I have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> I learned that's my soundboard, honey. Right, now you go ahead. Okay, <laughs> no, so no, you go ahead. right, the Jews were in prison. They they were enslaved in Egypt. <laughs> Tyler, <laughs> we're talking about the Jews. And uh, and and uh, there was a prophecy that uh, someone had well, just bam. been born that would uh, free the Jews, and so the Pharaoh ordered all the male babies killed. And uh, Moses' mom was was smart and was like, "You can't have my baby, son, bitch." Mm-hmm. And uh, put him in a basket knows? and put him in the river. And uh, the Pharaoh's daughter found him and raised him as her own. And then. Uh, time went by and mm-hmm. he eventually found out that he was a Jew and was like, oh crap, and got <laughs> banished. How do, you, how, do you think he, <laughs> how do you think he coped with being a Jew? Well, it'd be kind of shocking. You know? <laughs> Thank you for laughing. That was a dumb question that re- required no answer. Yes, probably with a dramatic impact. <laughs> yep. Well, I mean, it's tough. You think about he was, you know, raised as royalty. Well, at the time, people find out, did oh, not crap. like the Jews as is. Yeah, but that's all better now. They like them working on pyramids. (laughs) Dude, they were great. (laughs) (laughs) Like three pyramids a day. And I really need new sound effects. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so uh, eventually (laughs) Moses goes off. He wanders in the desert. He Mm -hmm. meets up uh, with some other Jews. Mm -hmm. And um, (laughs) (laughs) he he lives with them and and starts herding sheep and and having pretty much the good life and uh, that you can have out in the desert. (laughs) And then one day he sees a bush that's burning, but it doesn't it doesn't burn up. This was after you know? his daily peyote ration. <laughs> what is ration. It? <laughs> it's symbolism you see a couple times in the Bible. It's okay. something that burns, but keeps burning. I believe, know? according to Wikipedia, that was Yahweh.com. Okay. No? All right. Sure. Bad uh, joke. That's right. Michael's sort of giggling. <laughs> mm. And so God appeared as a burning bush and told him to go back to Egypt and free the Jews. And so he went and said, hey, Pharaoh... Free the Jews. And Pharaoh said, no, that's my workforce. That's not good economic sense. Mm-hmm. And um, then God sent plagues to that's try to convince right. them. How many plagues? Ten plagues. Well, which, one, which one was the best? One of well, I was going to put that Stella. to you guys, actually. Yeah, let me hear the plagues. Okay, right. so we've got, uh, first one's the water all turns to blood, which living along the Nile would be pretty freaky. Is there still, sounds pretty sweet. Is there still mm-hmm. oxygen in it? Oh, you mean not my body. No. Okay. No, the water, you know, the rivers. Your and the... body is 70% water, so I wouldn't want to be 100% blood. Right. <laughs> That'd be weird. <laughs> That'd be, a, I'd be, be like the shittiest. out of Castellina. That'd be the fuck. shittiest pinata in the world. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then followed by frogs, frogs. lice. Uh, some places say flies. Oh, lice is one of them? Lice is one oh, of them. Oh, that's not much. Well, one of them. That's and then just the second grade. Thing, mm-hmm. Some of them say <laughs> flies, and some of them say wild beasts. So number three was camp. <laughs> 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 Basically, outside yeah. is. <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, Wait, number four is flies and wild beasts. Right. So what do they? Or. What do they do? Do the, they well, kill them with disease? Well, yeah. I mean, I guess because it, it, I mean they get pretty bad after a while. I mean, after you get the flies and the wild beasts, all the livestock start to die. So they do escalate. Yeah. Oh my Then boils. Oh, uh, boils. Then boils. Then hail. Then locusts. Then unending darkness. And then the death of all the firstborn children. This all happened. That's what the Bible says. That's insane. It's some kind of scary stuff. I cannot stuff. believe that. Why would God do this? Because the uh, Pharaoh wasn't listening to him. Oh, that's right. Okay. You got a shitty Pharaoh. You sound yeah. like somebody out of a chick tract right now. You're like, why didn't anybody tell me about this? <laughs> I had no <laughs> idea. <laughs> oh, my God. When was somebody going to tell me that all this shit happened? That's insane. What if it happened again? It's important. I have to go to WonderCon. I can't handle boils. <laughs> Yeah, if anybody's yeah. going to WonderCon. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. WonderCon. Look for Potential us. Potential of plagues. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to bring them with That's me. That's also an achievement in Samurai Showdown. <laughs> Se- look, seven out of ten plagues is pretty good. <laughs> so where are we headed, where are we headed sweetie? Okay. Um, Said so, sweetie. Jesus. Yeah. Um, so not I guess Jesus. On, no. No <laughs> Jesus. We're not actually on the Jesus train. No Jesus. Um, yeah, so so Jesus is not allowed to say to her. Well, he's Tyler, allowed. I mean, again. he's a good Jewish boy. Is he? It seemed like he died pretty early. Yeah, he did. <laughs> but, you know, he went into his father's business. A real hero would have lived longer. Somebody stabbed him. What do you do? Mm. Yeah. All right. So along the theme of plagues, I've brought the traditional 
the, <gasps> the most traditional Passover food, which is gefilte fish, mm. um, which is this thing on the matzah right here. See That's a real by fish. By the way, uh, mine looks like it has a dried apricot. <laughs> it's a, a carrot. Some spooge on top. Oh, you got a <laughs> carrot. That's, that's some, great. Some custardy spooge. On yeah. Hand. So it's it's which I believe is horseradish. carp and, and horseradish. It's a it's a jellied. So this is fish. Carp. Yep. Oh, I'm scared. Mm. Mm. You really keep your microphones in mind. Um. Mm. Mm. I haven't gotten the fish yet. Did you like it? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> well, that was good. Bizarre. There you go, that. Tyler. Horseradish is out of control. Mm. A little bit, yeah. Sort of... Ow! Oh my god, that's hurt weird. Yourself. What does this represent? How they didn't have a lot of fresh seafood. Oh. oh. So, so they had to pickle it, I guess? So it's more than a Hebrew hazing. <laughs> like... Well, that's how I treat it, honestly. <laughs> but I will say this. When I had a bunch of British roommates, they all loved it. Really? Oh, they ate the whole jar. I was oh, amazed. So you so terrible that, food. That tells you. That, that says more about British cuisine than anything yeah. else. You stupid, nutty, deluded fuck! Oh, come on. <laughs> We're talking about Passover? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, sorry, I got lost for a second. Most people are probably listening to this on Easter Sunday. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which is great. Yep. <laughs> which, is no, which is no less silly. So Easter bunny, I, chocolate, there. Okay. Mm-hmm. I bought Cadbury eggs, a pile of them. Which kind? That's the cream awesome. ones? Oh, the cream eggs. Mm. All right. I'm a big fan of the caramel eggs, yeah. so. though. They're all right. Yeah. I know. The, the cream eggs always sound like a really good idea oh. until they're actually in your mouth. They're, yeah. they're the best idea that was ever made. It's like, here's a here's a bunch of chocolate with a frosting center. Oh, God. Oh. That was, yeah. I love it. This is way better so far. What's next on the, uh, um, what's our next course? Oh, well, I haven't actually gone to the Passover part of the story. Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> at, least right. at least they're appropriate. Stuff. They are. Right. A really so, good job. Okay, so we get to the, the tenth plague, the death of the firstborn, mm-hmm. and um, God tells Moses to tell everybody, all the Jews, that if they sacrifice a lamb and paint lamb's blood on their doorpost, then mm-hmm. when the angel of death comes at night, he will pass over, over. Perfect. their houses. <laughs> so Mask of the Phantasm flies over there. Yeah. Okay. yeah. All right. But th- was this a Jewish thing, or was it just something Moses told the people he was close to? No, we told everybody. Well, we told everybody. Yeah. And the people who listened right. were saved. We're passed See? over. Over. And I highly recommend, I, ch- I checked on Saturday, ABC's Running Ten Commandments with oh, uh, really? Charlton Heston. That's where I saw the this, burning bush. Yeah, this mm-hmm. the Passover scene in that is hysterical. They say Passover like 14 times. Passover, your house. He's like, really, Passover is Moses? The wall. This Whoa. town is a madhouse! It's a mad god! A mag- <laughs> it was. Yeah. It's still Earth, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> oh. It was Israel all along! <laughs> <laughs> Stinking lice off me, you damn dirty god! <laughs> damn you, Palestinians! Damn. Alright, uh. Um. <laughs> hope you were, hope you like the 70s. Hey, you know what? He is a character in Freakazoid, so the kids know. You get their well aware. <laughs> right. Yeah. That, Freakazoid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That, yeah. That's a kids relevant today. reference. Right no? There. Oh, yeah, that show was 15 years ago. <laughs> yeah. Uh, whoops. Yeah, thank you, Tyler. <laughs> you should definitely have the soundboard from here now. Um, okay, so let's see who's next. Um, do, do we eat it now? What? I'm so, this is you the. Can eat what, well, I, I would like to try some of the death of the firstborn. Oh, okay. Um. <laughs> Well, we meet the the haroset, which is this uh, brown pasty looking stuff. It's supposed to look like mm. the mortar. Mm. This is a little treat after the gefilte fish because this is really good. Mm. Wait a minute! I feel like I just ate the top of a pie. <laughs> mm. And this represents oh, it is good. It represents the mortar. delicious apple filling. Yeah. Oh, is that with it? Apple. And, and freedom is so. It's sweet. very apple pie like. Mm. I'm converting to Judaism just because of the convenient pie. <laughs> <laughs> this shit can be served in a tube. And sold at KB's. <laughs> mm. 